North Dakota's grouse and partridge hunting seasons open September 9th. Mike Anderson tells us what hunters can expect this year. Each spring, North Dakota Game and Fish Department upland game biologists count sharp-tailed grouse males dancing on leks to get a population estimate. No huge spikes in the population, but holding steady is good after a bad winter. Notably, the difference in the, in the counts were that in the western part of the state, we had higher increases, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 percent higher than last year. In the eastern part of the state, we did have some areas with decreases up to 15%. In late July and August, biologists run late summer brood routes looking for individual birds and hens with chicks. Brood routes are important because we yeah, primarily harvest um, juvenile or young of the year birds in the fall. Um, so we use the brood routes for figuring out how many young they're going to be out there and we get a young per adult ratio and we also get a brood size estimate. Uh, right now both of those are looking pretty good for sharp tail. Rough grouse can be found either in the Turtle Mountains or the Pemina Hills in North Dakota. Um, this year in the Pemina Hills unfortunately there was snowpack and they used a lot of those roads for storing snow and they were hauling snow. Um, but those, those roads were closed and we never did get a good survey in the Pemina Hills. Turtle Mountains, the good news was that we were up, in fact, they were up almost by 40%, so they looked good. Partridge numbers have been heading in the right direction for a few years now. They're increasing another, another year of really big brood sizes and, and lots of broods on the countryside. Overall, hunters should have a good year for grouse and partridge. We're predicting it's going to be another good season. So far, what we're seeing on our brood routes has all been positive. Everything's looking pretty good. Kohler has some good advice for hunters hitting the field for grouse and partridge seasons. The busy time of year, there are a lot of farmers and producers that are going to be out, whether moving cattle or, or harvesting crops. We ask that you watch the, watch the right-of-ways, park in a safe spot, and also where you're not going to be in somebody's way. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.